And now for the part that we came here for. The part where you get to shoot little guardians. I need to remember to leave one of them alive. Which will be you. You, sir, have been selected for my new program where I take pictures of you without your permission. Guardian Scout won, but I'm not just stopping there, and I also don't think I can stop here, because if I get a game over, then it resets my, or, re, re, it brings me back to the last save I had, so I think I actually have to complete this thing now, but I'll also keep taking pictures of these guys, just in case what I have is not enough. Hello, are you a Guardian Scout 3? Oh, no, you're Guardian Scout 4. Oh, you're you're the big boy. You're also going to die real quick. Here, let's switch over to this. Switch back to this. And let's unleash all of my firepower on you. And this as well. Come on, where are you going? Where are you going? Ow. That kind of hurt. And then... Unleash the Powie. Oh, this poor guy. Look at him. Uh, this. This is not good. Uh, this. Okay, switch over to my best weapon, which is 26. And this should be able to finish him off. Yeah, he's done. Whew! That was actually easy. Uh, I completed the middle trials, and I I didn't even really care about taking damage. I just did it. Like, I just rushed through everything. And this is my inventory. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, there. This is my inventory. I'm I'm fine. Th that was not difficult at all. Also, by the way, hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, you might be wondering, why are we starting off in the trials? Well, last episode, we encountered a girl who, who was obsessed with guardians, and she needed pictures of guardians. And so, I ended off after killing a Lynel, and also encountering what I think is the giant horse. I decided to start this episode off in the trials to get those pictures, so that we could get things off on the right foot by completing that girl's very creepy and disturbing quest. Armed with pictures of mini guardians. Let's complete this quest. Get the shrine. My sweet Roscow, don't you worry, my special friend. I would never, ever, never let you go. Unless, of course, I might see a flying one and a small one and a one that walks the round. Hmm? Someone's speaking? You'll show me a, a guardian? Hey, you. Could you please not bother my Roscow and me? Yo, look. It's not like you can show me a guardian or anything. There. That image. That's a flying guardian. Wow, I feel alive with terror just from gazing at its beautiful form. This scout one. A small guardian. Oh, it looks so vicious for its tiny size. Adorable. <gasps> Hold on. If you've been able to show me two types, that, and that must mean... A walking guardian. I can't believe it. Nothing could be more dangerous. What an exhilaratingly scary sight. <sighs> Phew, what a joy. Hey, you. Give me that box, okay? I want to look at those images every single day. Uh, that's mine. That's my iPad. I cannot do that. I'm sorry. You're going to have to get some cheap knockoff tablet. Yeah, do that. You can't? I see how unfortunate. I guess I'll have to burn those images into my imagination. Can I have the orb? Huh? You mean Roscow? Sure, that weird sphere thing is all yours. Really, I'm over it. Yeah, I'm all about the guardians now. If I close my eyes, I can see them in my imagination. It's glorious. And you have no clue the amount of trials, literally, I had to go through to get that. Yoink! I missed. Let's get this shrine. The, the, the shrine. Push it in. Come on. Come on. Get in there. And where's it gonna come up? In... wait, what? Not in the water, okay. And there's our shrine! I'm, I suppose this one is just gonna be a blessing shrine. But, either way, 
It is a shrine, and it's the last one we need bef- Wait, no. It's the second to last one we need before we can give get two upgrades. So, let's get- get on with that. That's a bit surprising. It's not a reward, which means also there's a major test of strength around here somewhere. So, we can be looking forward to that. Also, there have been a lot of battles this episode, and honestly, uh, my episode format for this LP? Ooh. You know what, let's let's use the Master Sword, but first switch over to uh, these two. Also, I'm low on HP, so I should probably heal as well. My episode format for this series has gotten crazier and crazier as we go, as time goes by. Like, there's, there's a point where at one episode of, or um, what am I saying? Where one episode of episodes nowadays is a, the equivalent of like three episodes from Breath of the Wild maybe 30 episodes ago. It's kind of crazy. Also, uh, I probably shouldn't be using the Master Sword just because I want to... Uh, I guess I'm not going to slay the Lionel this episode. There's there's no way. Okay, let's shield bash this guy. Yeah, perfect. Oh, I almost got the Flurry Rush. If I hadn't completed the attack, I would have. Uh, you know what? Sure. Let, let's just overwhelm this guy with the the power. The power of the this line elbow. Look at that damage. That's such an insane weapon. Probably, I've said that the Royal Bows are the best weapon in the game, but I would dare say that the bow we just got and just used is the best weapon of the game. Like... I, I can't see weapons getting much better than that. It's a five round burst. Five round burst of whatever you want. Ancient arrows, shock arrows, bomb arrows. You name it, it'll burst it. And that's that's crazy. Royal broadsword durability up. Well, as if we didn't have a ton of those anyway. I can drop the one with... I have the same thing. I have the same weapon, and actually, the giant boomerang is better. <sighs> Man, let's just drop this for this, I guess. Since that one probably has a hit or two on it. Sure, I got it. Let's get our orb. As promised, here we are in Demel Forest. Looks like we have a, a wizard robe to deal with first. Uh, let's switch over to shock arrows and miss. Die. I said, die. There. And supposedly this has a shrine in it, according to Cass. I don't know where, but presumably in the actual demo forest he was referring to. I know this episode is getting probably very high on time, but I, I promised that I would achieve a certain thing this episode, and I, I fulfill my promises, I guess. And I'm not going to make this a separate episode, because after this, I need your guys' input as to how to handle and approach this region. Do we start Central Hyrule and go west? What do we do? So it all starts with the ruins. That's... I wonder if we're approaching the the fountain. I've been wondering that every time we come across a new area, but now especially it makes me wonder what these ruins are for. Yeah, it looks like looks like this is part of a castle. So let me look. Let me look at this. So we need to go the direction we're facing, not the direction we're looking. Which leads us deeper into the forest, which is infested with Bakoblins, but then again, what isn't? So heading deeper into the forest, it's very hard to see. The uh, the typical Breath of the Wild fog is permeating everything, and it gets it gets to be its worst in forests. So where are we going? He mentioned a dragon's mouth. Maybe that refers to the entrance of this thing. Maybe there's a dragon's mouth that we need to walk through, like a uh, like Wind Waker style. But whatever it is, we're we're quickly approaching. Whoa! Oh, it's a fortress. Okay, I thought 
I thought that the the exclamation point that high up meant that the enemy was that big, and I was really scared. There are shock arrows everywhere. Uh, wow. I guess I need- ooh. Shock arrows- you know what? This is gonna be my best friend now. I never thought that rubber tights would be great, but I think rubber tights are the way to go. Do I have any shock resistance in my items? Or in my food? I don't think I would, but you always have to check. Okay, I think... I see something back there. I don't know what it is, but it almost looks like a fountain. I think what I might do... This is a good idea. They, they kind of lost sight of me. Let's get the stealth gear up. And that guy's firing at me. Let's see if I might be able to kill these guys. I'll aim a little bit higher. Make sure he doesn't hit the water. There. And fire again. Okay, he's dead. Or should I just run through? I might have to just run through. There are so many enemies here. The payoff of defeating them is not be not greater than just running through. I'm, I'm going to do it. It might be a bad idea. Get out of the water, Link. Oh, this is kind of bad, but at the same time, I'm, I'm not dying. So let's just re-equip some of our armor, and then just run, I think. I think that's the plan. Is this a dra- that's the dragon's mouth. Okay, it's guarded by all sorts of Lizalfos, and you, very reminiscent of Ocarina of Time. You can't get out of my dragon's mouth. Don't quote me on that. Oh, a gold rupee. And indeed, this is our our fountain. And they're still they're still angry out, out there, but it doesn't really matter. Let's approach this thing and say what's up. Hey, I think I even have the scale. I'm pretty sure I do. You have done well to find this spring. Offer Farash's scale received from the Golden Spirit to the Spring of Courage. I, Goddess Hylia, will guide you. I have it, don't I? That would be great. I think I do. Uh, where would that be in my inventory? Farash's? Farash's, yeah, I have one. I have two, actually. This is it, right? Yeah, this is it, wow. I didn't even have to hunt it down. It just kind of... I mean, to be fair, Farash kind of was in my grill most of the time in the the eastern Farron region, but still, this is the it has been the easiest fountain to unearth. And I would assume that means that there's only one more fountain left. There's a uh, Ordon or the Orden spirit? Shaykatha Shrine. Shaykatha's Blessing gives us a Spirit Orb, which we will use to get two more Stamina Gear things, and also a Thunder Spear with Critical Hit. You know, I think this is going to be one that I leave here, not because it's bad, but because I have so many good items that I just want to hold on to. Thunderstorm Rod with Durability Up, that's pretty good, even if it's only Power 10, it's a a status, status ailment, although I guess I can find those anywhere. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take it. It's a reward. Thunder Spear critical hit, and also our eighth Spirit Orb, and that is going to be it for this very, very long episode. Very long and drawn out episode. Future pal. Props to you if you manage to edit this all down into into three episodes, because that that's crazy. This one recording session has been four and a half, maybe five hours, and that's that's insane. So props to you, Future Pal, if you did that. I know for a fact that the recording survived, so whew, that's that's great. So give me your input for the next couple of episodes heading into the next region also tell me if there's anything that i i still need to get in the the pharon region here uh if there are any more any more shrines or any more treasures or just anything you want to see me tackle is there an encampment that you found particularly 
different and unique from the others or it's just difficult uh then tell me and i'll go clear it out for you uh the giant horse uh, otherwise is probably going to be the next thing we do uh which we will travel back to this medallion and fight the lionel and then presumably the giant horse is in here i'm not sure but this is the grassland that the pe that those travelers told us about and i think think that that's where it it is so we're gonna be getting the giant horse uh and and taming that we have a f two full stamina meters now and we've come a long way we're to the point where a lot of things don't matter like enemies don't matter rewards don't really matter anymore because we're so powerful and we have such an impressive arsenal that it just trivializes a lot but shrines and Koroks, I still am interested in. So tell me where I can find those, and if there's anywhere in this area where you need me to go. Probably up here, if I had to wager a guess. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And join me for another episode here on Pal Plays. See ya! Yeah, there's a, uh, from the jungle biome, you can get, where'd my pig go, there it is, um, you can get sluggies, snails, grubbies, and buggies. <laughs> None of those and are words buggies. I thought I'd ever hear you say. Actually, no, you can't get snails. It's just sluggies, grubbies, and buggies. Are those and actually what they're called? Yeah. Okay. And say, buggies. why are you